Hi guys, I'm Brian, the author of Healthy Living Made Simple. Sounds a bit surprising, right? But it's true. I made this entire book from scratch only using AI. Everything from the idea, the cover image, and all the content inside was created with AI. And the best part is, I can publish it on Amazon and start making some good money. Pretty cool, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it step by step so you can create your own book too. Books like these are a great way to share your ideas to make a steady income every day. Plus, you can choose to sell them as ebooks or as physical copies just like this one. Also, don't forget to watch this video till the end because I've got a bonus tip on how you can easily share your AI made book with your loved ones. So, let's get started. To create a book using AI, we're going to follow six steps. The first step is to find a high performing topic for your book. If you have already decided on a topic you're interested in, you can skip this step. But if you haven't, don't worry, I will show you two different methods with which you can find the perfect topic for your book. The first method is to use Amazon to see which genres are popular and selling well. Let me show you how. To find the top selling books, just go to Amazon, then go to bestsellers and go to books. Now select the category of the book that you're interested in. I'm going to select health, fitness and dieting. And as you can see, these are the best selling books. You can go through them and use them as a reference or an inspiration for your own book. So this is how you can search a high performing topic. Now let's say you have already desired a topic, but you're not sure whether it will perform well on Amazon. In that case, you can use another method to find out how well a book is selling. Let me show you how. So just click the link in the description and it will take you to this extension. This extension will help us see how well a product is performing on Amazon. To add it to Chrome, just click here. Now click add extension and it will be added. Once you have added the extension, it will redirect you to this page. So let's sign in. Just click here and log in with your Google account. Okay, now we need to connect our account to the extension. To do that, click here, click on seller app extension, log in with your Google account again and it will be connected. Now let's go back to Amazon, click here, then select books and search for the topic that you are interested in. I will search for health and fitness. And you can see the details like the product's ranking, estimated orders and revenue per day. These details are visible for all the books on Amazon. So now you can compare these details with other books and decide the type of book that you want to create. And once you finalize on a high performing topic for your book, we can go to the next step which is to get ideas for your book. To get the main idea and title suggestions for your book, we're going to use another AI tool called Gravity Right. So let's click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. Now here we need to enter some details about our book. First, just describe your book in simple words. For example, I want to create a book about health and fitness. So I will enter simple tips and quick recipes for health and fitness. Once that's done, click here and select the category. You can choose between fiction and non-fiction. If your book is about some imaginary story, you can select fiction. But since my book is based on real facts and information, I will select non-fiction and click create content. As you can see, we've got the main idea for our book along with the genre, writing style and some catchy titles. Alright, now that we have a great idea, it's time to create a cover image that will grab people's attention. So let's go to the next step which is to create the cover image for our book. But before we start creating the cover image, we need an image prompt that perfectly describes the idea of our book. Let me show you how. First click here to see all the tools and go to book writing. Here you will find the book cover image generator. So let's open it in a new tab. To get the best results, here we need to enter the title and the main idea of our book. So let's go back to the previous tab. Copy the title you like. Come back. And paste it here. In the same way, copy the main idea and paste it here. Now here enter the name of the author. 
and once you're done click create content you will get five different prompts for your book's cover image now let's use one of these prompts to create the cover image of our book and to do that go to this image generator tool and open it in a new tab with this tool we can create amazing ai images with just a simple prompt and since we already have the image prompt we just need to copy it and paste it here so let's go back to the previous tab copy the prompt you want and paste it here once you're done select the aspect ratio for the book i will select portrait and then change the style to natural set the quality to hd now click generate image and as you can see we've got a beautiful cover image for our book now to download this image just click here and it will be downloaded all right now we have an eye catching cover image ready so it's time to focus on the content to do that let's go to the fourth step which is to create the outline for your book gradient has a tool that makes creating book outlines super easy to use this tool first click on view more to see all the tools now go to book writing and here you will find the book outline generator so let's click on it okay now to create the outline for our book we need to fill in these details first click here and select how many chapters you want in your book i will select 20 next we need to enter the title of your book so let's go back to the book idea generator tab copy the title come back paste it here and in the same way let's enter the main idea of our book once you're done click create content and here it is we got a detailed outline for all the 20 chapters now with this outline we can easily create the content for our book so let's go to the fifth step which is to create the content for your book to create the content we're going to use another tool in gravity right that can generate the complete content for our book just by its outline go to book writing and here you'll find the book chapter writer so let's open it in a new tab first just enter a name for your book it can be anything you want next we need to enter the outline of our book so let's go back to the previous tab copy the outline from chapter 1 then come back and paste it here now paste the title of your book here and once you're done click save changes to generate the introduction of your book click create content and as you can see the introduction is generated now let's copy it and paste it in a google docs document like this to generate the content of chapter 1 just click here and you will get it let's also paste this in our google doc in the same way you can get the content for all the chapters just click on create content one by one and it will be generated and just make sure you paste all the content in google docs once you're done generating and pasting all the content we need to check if all the titles like the introduction and the chapter names are formatted as the heading one format this will help us to format our content later so to check that just select the title here and check if it says heading one or not if it's not just click here and select heading one or you can simply select the text and press control plus alt plus 1 to format it in heading 1 repeat this for all the headings
And once you're done, you can download this document by going to Files, clicking Download, then select Microsoft Word, and it will be downloaded. A quick note, before moving to the next step, make sure you carefully proofread your content, take the time to review it and add your own personal touch to improve its quality and make it your own. Alright, now we have all the content, but to make a proper book out of this content, it has to be perfectly organized. So let's go to the final step, which is to format your book. To do that, just click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. To use this tool, first we need to sign up. So just click here. Quickly fill in your details and click register. Then accept the terms and we are in. To format our book, click on add new book. Then click start print book. Now we need to fill in these details. So let's quickly do it. Since we already have a cover image for our book, let's select this option. Then click on browse and upload the cover image like this. Then enter the title of your book. Then scroll down and select this option that says our book does not have any content that is inappropriate for minors. Then from here, select the category of your book. I will select non-fiction. Then select the subcategory. Since my book is about health and fitness, I will select that. And within the subcategory, select all the options that are relevant to your book's topic. Once you're done, click start print book. Next, we need to upload the document in which we pasted all the content for our book. So let's click here and upload the document. Then here enter a small description about your book and select the pages that you want to add in your book. I want to add only the introductory pages, so I will select the title page and the copyright page. To publish any book, we need to have an international standard book number or ISBN. If you already have an ISBN for your book, you can choose the second option and enter it. Since I don't have one, I'll go with the first option, which will give me a free ISBN for my book. Once you're done, click save and continue. And here's our book. Now we can make a few more changes in the appearance of this book. Like you can change the color of the page, the size, and also change the template style as you wish. Then tick this box to include the table of contents in your book. Select where you want the page number to be displayed. I will change it to bottom. Then click on chapters and scenes. And since we formatted the titles for our document in heading 1, we will select header 1. Once you're done, just click apply changes. Now to see a preview of the book, just click here. And as you can see, our book looks very neat and well put together. To download it, just click here. And you can see the PDF version of your book. Alright, so this is how you can create an entire book from scratch using AI. Pretty easy, right? If you are interested in publishing your book on platforms like Amazon KDP, then you can check out this video, which will guide you through the entire process of publishing your book step by step. But wait, that's not all. You can make your book even more interactive and engaging for your readers. I'll show you how to convert your book into an engaging flipbook like this, which gives the experience and the feel of a physical book. So to make your book into a flipbook, so just click the link in the description and it will take you to this site. Just click here to sign up with your Google account. And once that's done, to start creating the flipbook, just drag and drop the PDF of the book. And that's it. The flipbook is ready. So let's check it out. It's really cool, isn't it? If you want a shareable link of this flipbook, just click on share. Copy this link and share it with whomever you want. So this is how you can easily convert any book into a fun flipbook. And now that you've created this really cool book, you might want to share it with a wider audience. And that's where Webspace Kit comes in. With Webspace Kit, you can easily create a stunning website to showcase your storybooks 
and other creative projects. They offer a drag and drop website builder, so you don't need any coding skills. Plus, you get access to thousands of free themes and plugins to make your site stand out. And the best part, you can get a free domain and a flat 10% off by using the link in the description below. So go ahead and share your books to the world using WebSpace Kit. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video and are also interested in making a storybook for kids, then you can check out this video. And don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.